and good evening everyone. It is a great pleasure to be in front of you again. Before we launched our Galaxy Note in Berlin here one year ago, there were smartphones and tablets, but nothing in between. Later, some people started to call this new category we created a tablet, but I know this one is already taken, but we've definitely moved on to another place anyway. But we created this category and we will continue to define it. Recently, our note 10.1 came out. This lets us use more creative and more productive tools while also adding some very relevant learning capabilities and advanced features that none of our competitors have. And it does it all with unrivaled performance. This is quite a device. And now, we are taking it one step further with the Galaxy Note 2. We have slightly reconfigured the size and we have combined all the enhancements of the Note 10.1 with an additional series of specifications that make the Note 2 the most powerful smartphone in the marketplace. And this is the one that is going to let us create more than ever before. The enhancements begin with the new S10. As soon as you pull it out, a buddy page appears that prompts you with the tools you need to be more productive. And when you ride with it, you will be amazed by your precision. This has 1024 levels of pressure sensitivity and we've enhanced the grip by making it a little bit th thicker. We also incorporated a new rubber tip that couples with all these levels of pressure sensitivity to offer an incredibly precise writing experience that isn't just like the real thing, it is the real thing. Now, we have put all that together with a new hardware configuration that includes a lightning fast quad-core processor and two gigabytes of RAM. And of course, the Galaxy Note 2 has the latest Android OS and both LTE and 3G will be supported. And there's much, much more. This is the constant evolution and enhancement that is the genesis of yet an other parallel device from Samsung Mobile. The Galaxy Note 2. Let's take a look closer. Let me first emphasize the unparalleled viewing experience offered by the Galaxy Note 2. It helps you see more at a single glance and makes the overall experience more visual this boosts creativity because even when you see exactly the same content and information as others, the insight you get will be much deeper and richer. I'm sure you've already experienced the crystal clear, amazing viewing experience of the Galaxy Note. Galaxy Note 2 steps it up with a 5.5 inches HD Super AMOLED screen that offers better clarity and a 16 by 9 screen ratio that makes it perfect for viewing movies. And we have slimmed down the bezel so that even though the screen is better, the body of the phone is not. And because it's only 9.4 millimeters thin and it weighs just 180 grams, you will feel how it lightly sits in your hands. Now, I'm sure you want to know how the battery is going to handle all that extra real estate on the screen. Well, the Galaxy Note 2 comes with a 3100 milliamp battery. And we've made the power management even more efficient. When this comes out, and the benchmark experts get their hands on it, you're only going to hear good things about the true performance, believe me. Now, let's talk multitasking. Because with the Galaxy Note 2, you will do more. 
you will manage your information more efficiently and you will find and express more of that inner creativity of yours. Let me run through a few of the features of the new Galaxy Note 2 and how it will make your life better, more creative and more convenient. I will start with AirView because sometimes you really need to dig deep to find that piece of information you've been looking for. Right? AirView gives you a preview of various contents without opening. You can just hover the S Pen over an email in the list, for example, and you will see a little bubble that previews what's in the body of the email. Same for S Planner. Without opening an appointment, you just hold the S Pen over it and you will see any concealed information like a long name for the meeting place, for example, or a meeting note you left about yourself for the meeting. In your gallery, you will get a very nice display of the pictures inside the album without opening it, letting you see very quickly if the picture you're looking for is in there or not. For the video player, all you have to do is hover on the timeline of the track and you will get a quick preview. That's really great for quickly finding your place in that movie you were watching last Sunday before your kids took your phone to play. You know what I'm talking about. AirView is an amazingly convenient innovation. And we'll just see that in a few moments. And pop-up note is yet another example of how the Galaxy Note 2 is designed around the challenges of our everyday life. Haven't you had this experience when you're on the phone and you have to quickly drop down an address or a phone number? There's never a pen and paper around when you need one. Never. But pop-up note is the perfect solution for this. You just whip out the pen while you're still talking and an S note will pop up on your screen so you can just write down that piece of information you have to remember. How convenient is that? And just like on the Galaxy S3, we created pop-up video for the Galaxy Note 2 so that you can continue to watch a video while you're doing other things like writing an email or chatting with your friends. Now, let's talk about how the Galaxy Note 2 empowers you to express yourself more free and be more creative. The capture feature that we introduced last year was very innovative and well received, but we have made it even better. It is easier and much more simple to use, and it lets you make the most of any kind of information. Now, with this easy clip, as soon as you select an area with the S Pen, you can instantly clip it. This is so simple. Actually, I love the idea of being able to go anywhere and take what I see and bring it to somewhere else, whether it's in an email that I'm writing or a document I've been working on. Once you try this, you will love it too. But this is all made possible by the S Pen and its phenomenal ability to let you write in precisely the same natural way that you do with pen and paper. It lets you get away from the keyboard and really personalize something that you are creating. Even with a simple email, you can draw in a diagram to convey your point more quickly and efficiently. And wouldn't it be nice to use your real signature on the document? Now, well, you can. Now. Now think about our good old-fashioned diaries and schedulers that we walk around with. Some people refuse to give them away because they love being able to quickly write in what they need to, whether it's a, an important meeting minus or a quick grocery list. Samsung definitely understands those people and we think we've got something for them. The S Pen again powerfully fuses the beauty of that analog world with the power of an incredibly advanced digital device. And it's that purely natural handwriting of the S Pen that makes it so well. 
something that is made possible by those 1024 levels of pressure sensitivity that use likely thicker grip and the rubber tip. Another feature now is for the rubber tip. This lets you chop down quick thoughts and comments on the pictures you take. Just like you would do some writing on the back of an old picture, a real one, you can now make comments on the back of your digital photos. It actually flips the image over to let you write down something on the back. Anything. This is giving the analog touch that everybody wants, seems to like these days. Staying with the theme of expression and creation for a moment. Here is a very innovative way to organize and visualize your ideas. When you are writing an essay note, you can easily replace a word with a fancy illustration. Just write the word in the box and it will automatically suggest an image that fits. No need to search through the library or to go through a long list. You can even customize it, of course, and include your own expressions in the library. It helps you express your ideas and add some color to what you're trying to say. But I think seeing is believing, right? So, David, I think it's time to uh, have a little look at some of the features. Oh, yes. Jean-Daniel, you've given us a lot of details. But I still have some questions, especially about Airview, which seems very innovative and useful. But you mentioned something about the page body. What is a page body? We love this kind of new words in, in, in this industry. Well, actually, I call it the size day page, seize the day. Because you can see that there, when you slide out the pen, a new page automatically appears with all these new functions that you need to be more productive. TK is showing you this on the big screen behind. Just pull out the S Pen and all the S Note tools that you need are right here waiting for you. Alright. Thank you very much TK. So that makes a lot more sense to me and it seems pretty useful. So what about Airview? What can you tell us about that? I love this one. Here's how it works. You just take the rest pen like this, and you hover over an icon, and you'll get a preview of what's inside. A preview of the video or whatever. Now, if you have a look at the screen behind us, you'll see what TK is doing. He's launching the video, and while the video is playing, he just has to hover the hand over the timeline to see a little small bubble that gives him a preview of what's to come. Which is perfect to get back to where we were, actually. Precisely. And I would be failing my job, actually, if I didn't remind you about that beautiful HD Super AMOLED screen with a 16 by 9 ratio. But back to you. TK, can you head into the gallery and let's show how it works there? Right. As you can see, it's just hovering the pen over the icons. There are many albums, but just by hovering the pen, you can see in any of those albums what pictures are inside. How cool is that? Oh, that's very cool, especially if you have a lot of photos. Right. Now I'd like to show you how to use the photo mode feature. This is definitely something new and very convenient that helps to preserve memories. A quick tap on the menu when you open a photo, and you've got some options. The one that we're interested in is photo mode. Just flipped it. Exactly, exactly. It's just flipping it over, and sort of looks like the back of a real picture now. And I just have to take the yes pen and do a natural writing on the back. Could be anything. Yeah, I remember when you were talking about this before. It's actually a very nice blend of analog and digital, I think. I, I think a lot of people are going to like this too. And there's another one. TK, can you click something out of that picture? Right. Actually, you're, you're going too fast. Try again, because I want to explain how it works. This is easy click. Easy click 
helps you to capture anything and to use it anywhere, in any of the documents you're creating, from the internet, from a picture, you name it, whatever. And as soon as you lasso it, it's captured and you can immediately use it. Okay, to get try now. How convenient. Wow, that's cool. Automatically into an MMS. All you will have to do now is hit the send button and it goes through. I'm sure all the people here in the assistance can imagine the many uses that this can be put to, right? Gigi, there was another one that you mentioned before and you called it pop note or something. Pop I pop actually no, it's a pop up note. Pop up note. And the point is that it gives you a pen and a paper whenever you need one. Quickly, simply. You can even use it while you're on the phone. Let's say that you're in the middle of a call and uh, you need to write something down. Something you have to remember. You just pull out the S Pen and you can write something. TK, can we try it? Okay, I call you. I take, I take a risk there. Yes. Well, I can imagine that would work well if you're using Bluetooth headphones, but what if you don't? Actually, if you don't have a Bluetooth headset, the only thing you have to do is to put on the loudspeaker. Okay, okay. Okay, the call has gone through. Thank you. Uh, all TK has to do now is put out the S Pen, and you see it's opening a pop note so that he can write whatever he wants to. Isn't that convenient? Well, it is very convenient, I think. And uh, let's see, right in that upcoming appointment, are you, after you're off the phone, can you put it in your S Planner? Well, there is a quick way to do that. Let's say uh, it's a birthday party of your friend on the 1st of September, right? Which is in two days. It is short, short notice. Are you free? Uh, probably. <laughs> you can just call the S Planner and use the S Pen now. And I'm not talking about entering values in a spreadsheet, I'm talking about actually writing on your own calendar, right? TK? Yes? Just like that. Come on, TK, we'll be more creative. That's the date. <laughs> TK is waiting for our invitation. So, you see, he, he changed color now. Yes. How is that possible? That's very easy. You just have to toggle from one to another Top between up. yeah toggle. <laughs> so you press the you press down the, the button on the S Pen okay. and it will switch from a preset paintbrush to another one or to the rubber time. Okay. So that anything you can do is very simple. Which brings us back to this analog and digital aspect again actually. Exactly, exactly. Well now you've got the date of your friend's birthday in the book. Why don't we send him a birthday card? We've integrated Facebook in this perfectly. TK, can you click on that date and uh, click on the Facebook button? Yes, right, thank you. There is a birthday template. Can we have a picture? So you can take any picture you want. Any picture you want. All right. There's no delivery. And TK, can we now sign it or send some kind of private messages on it? And again, there you can handwrite it and it is a very personalized message actually. Exactly. Thank you. Well, now there's one last thing to do. We need to send a birthday reminder to Jim for the party. And it's easy. And this is something I haven't told you about yet. It's called quick command. You just Hold the S Pen button and then swipe upwards and a command screen will appear. There are a set of commonly used functions, but as always, you can customize them. Okay, now we just write the at sign and Jim's name and we'll send him an email directly from wherever we are in the phone. And again, he recognizes the address of writing, I see. Exactly. We can write anything. Use the keyboard, use the S Pen, and send him a reminder. Well, this is just a sample of the innovation of the Galaxy Note 2, and a few of the ways that it will make the everyday task we perform so much more convenient. Thank you, David. My pleasure. Well, all right. Just a few other things to tell you about. 
we know that developers will want to use all these new functionalities offered by the improved S Pen. And this is why we have prepared an S Pen SDK 2.2 to help strengthen the application ecosystem. And by the way, we're also holding a Samsung development day right here tomorrow. Indeed, we've already been working very closely with many partners for the introduction of the Galaxy Note and since then. And a lot of new apps optimized for the S Pen will be made available for the Galaxy Note, it's true. Like Coach's Eye or Fastest Painter, for example, just to name a few. But let me tell you a bit more about it. Sketchbook from Autodesk, for example, is what designers and artists have been waiting for. It has all the tools you need to draw, paint and sketch with incredible sensitivity and style. This is the kind of application from a third party that takes advantage of many of the great features like AirView we just introduced a few moments earlier. Whether this is a quick sketch of an idea while on move, or a fully detailed drawing you create over time on transit in the bus, the S Pen will make all the difference. Drawmania, on the other hand, is a fun social game from On5 that can be played live between people. The first person gets a keyword and we try to make a drawing of that. And the others will try to guess what the drawing is. Here again, the S Pen can make a big difference. And remember a moment ago, I was mentioning about all these people who still really love the analog feel of their old paper scheduler. Well, there's no reason why you can't have the best of both worlds. Now take Moleskin Notebook for instance here, and imagine how much it could be enhanced with the new features of the S Pen. Moleskin is an iconic product already, and all its devoted fans will love to use it on the Galaxy S2, on the Galaxy Note 2, because yes, again, the S Pen will make a difference. Well, in addition to the S Pen apps, we've developed a series of premium grade accessories specifically for the Galaxy Note 2, including flip covers, protective covers, and coaches, docking stations, and Bluetooth accessories. Now, you will see some of the specification here behind me. Galaxy Note 2 will be shipped with the latest version of Android 4.1, also known as Jelly Bean. And by the way, we're going to continue to provide support to all our valued customers who bought the Galaxy S3, the Galaxy Note and the Galaxy Note 10.1. They will receive an update to Jelly Bean very soon. And when all those updates happen, you'll be able to synchronize your s node data across all those devices. Last but not least, this wonderful device will be launched in two magnificent colors, marble white and titanium gray. Well, that brings my part of the presentation to a close. Now, just unleash your creativity with the Galaxy Note 2 and let the S Pen make all the difference. It was great to be with you again tonight and I really look forward to meeting you at the party after the show.